This is a true story, one that happened to me when I was still a young child. Back then, before I even went into grade school, I had a friend. He was a strange man who stood beneath a tree in my front yard. Every night, at around midnight, I'd wake up and look out the window into the front yard and see him waving. Young and Anson and me didn't think anything of this, and simply waved back before going back to bed. This went on for several years until one day in grade school, I lost my very first real friend. I was sad and angry, so when midnight rolled around, I ignored my friend in the tree and laid in bed. I would come to regret this decision. It started out soft, a gentle knocking on glass. It was so soft I could have easily missed it. But then it came again, slightly louder. Still I ignored it. The knocking continued to grow louder and louder until eventually it was a bang on the window. Terrified, I looked up and saw him, my friend from the tree. This had been the first time I saw him up close, and how I wish I hadn't. He had no eyes, no nose or hair, and his skin was pale and his mouth was curled into a twisted smile. Despite having no eyes, I could feel him watching me, staring at me. It wasn't until later, when I was much older, that I could describe the feeling that that eyeless gaze gave me. It felt like he was hungry like he desired nothing more than to break through that window and devour me alive. I was so scared to do much of anything. Screaming was out, and it felt like if I moved, he would break the window and get me. But to this day, I have no idea why I did this, but I slowly raised my hand from my blankets and waved at him. His twisted sm smile slowly faded and returned to a normal one, and he slid down out of sight. Now, you may say this is a Slender Man story, or inspired by him, but this story really happened, years before Creepypasta, and even to this day, I can still sometimes feel that hungry gaze on me. Maybe one day you'll feel it as well. After all, I was able to steal a meal from him. He must be hungry.